is Jennifer Orozco. Um, I went to Hillcrest High School, graduated in 2013. I'm currently at the University of Southern California, majoring in Chicano Latino Studies and minoring in Healthcare Studies. So right now, I'm about to start my senior year at USC, but I am taking a leave of absence this fall because I got an internship offer in Washington, D.C., and I get to work in a congressional office with a Congress person and uh, you know just I just came back in the spring from um, South Africa I studied abroad there and in a year's time I guess I am gonna graduate I hope to go on the Peace Corps and eventually med school so that's what I'm doing right now okay so I was born and raised in a Dallas neighborhood it's primarily immigrant and refugee um, I'd say one of my greatest obstacle is to get to where I am today, would just be uh, being first generation American. My parents are um, Mexican immigrants and they don't speak English even after being in the country for several years. So um, I've kind of always had to be their translator. Um, in terms of figuring things out for college for myself, I had to figure out how to fill out financial aid and whatnot or, you know, I couldn't necessarily ask my parents for that kind of help in that aspect. So it's just um, navigating through everything without necessarily, I do have my parents' guidance, but not as I should ideally. In terms of the college process, I would say so, just because um, since both my parents didn't go to college, I didn't know anything about it. Um, I didn't really understand the importance of the SAT. It didn't mean anything to me until I had to turn it in for a college application, or like I said, same thing with financial aid. Um, all the numbers on there, that was hard, and I couldn't necessarily ask my parents for help. So I went to like my you know, ASP college advisor for those type of things. But yeah, it was more so not knowing about the college process, because I didn't have that support system with my parents or anyone in my family. I'd say the most enjoyable part of the college process for me was um, just, you know, getting through it and being like, I finished one. There's so many components to it. There's the letters of recommendation, the test, the um, essays, and everything. It's like, it's a big process. And so just being able to be like, okay, I'm submitted, I'm done, and getting those acceptance letters in the end and having the options to choose from, that's probably the best thing. say that my favorite memory about ASP is my college advisor. Um, my college advisor was Sarah Miller. Um, she was amazing. She, um, you know, I barely met this woman and I was like, hey, I don't want to stay in Texas. I want to go out of state, but I have no idea how to do that. Like, I don't, I don't even know where I'd want to go. I don't know of any colleges out of here. I just want to leave. So she comes back over the weekend with a list of like 20 something colleges. I narrow it down and like, you know, we just went on from there. And then Eventually, when I got my acceptances, it was a choice between like USC and Santa Clara, and um, you know I eventually went with USC, even though it wasn't Sierra's favorite. But she supported me through the whole thing, and the fact. And now, looking back, I'm just like, wow! Like I love being at USC. I love being a Trojan. I wouldn't have it any any other way. But if Sarah had never even given me that list, I wouldn't have put USC on my radar because I had never heard of it. So it's definitely my college advisor for showing that she cares about me and. Just being super supportive along the way. Yeah, so if I weren't in the ASP program, um, like I said before, uh, the college application process would have been very different. Um, I wouldn't, to begin with, I wouldn't have had a, as great of an advisor, academic counselor letter as I did coming from Sarah. Otherwise, it would have been from my, um, you know. Hillcrest High School academic advisor who didn't know me as well so um, it would have been very different in the sense that like I wouldn't have known as much as I did I probably wouldn't have gotten a list of 25 schools to choose from and narrow down and even when I was choosing my colleges I had that support from my academic advisor which I probably wouldn't have had without ASP so it's basically the whole thing would have been different and who knows where I'd be right now. So um, what I'd say uh, the best college advice I would give someone is to just 
be aware that call application that college applications are coming up. Um, and in terms of like staying on track and on top of everything, I would say um, know the importance or like talk to your advisor early on so you can know what you should do to get ready to apply for the colleges that you may want to go to because maybe your SAT scores aren't as good as you need to be to compete or to be competitive for your respective school. So um, just be thinking about college and go to your advisor and talk to them, ask them what you can do now as soon as possible or the sooner rather than later so that you can get to college where you want to go, be happy and afford it. Um, I would just say that, can it be about ASP? It can be about whatever you want to talk about. Okay, then it'll be about ASP. <laughs> okay, can I just go? Go. Okay. Um, I would just say that ASP is like an amazing, amazing program and I keep coming back year after year just because they do great work. Um, you know, even for people who are going to USC like me, um, my advisor will contact me and be like, hey, this person's going to USC, watch out for them, meet up with them, do whatever you can. So like, I can tell they really take care of you and this is what keeps me coming back to this program not necessarily as a worker or anything, but just helping back and giving back. And um, yeah, that's all I would say about it. I say, yeah. All right, thank you, Jennifer. Okay, you're welcome.